you know, intermittent fasting can be considered in humans fasting up to about, you know, 24 hours. And then prolonged fasting happens when you get into like the 48 hour mark, so two days or, or longer. Um, and then of course there's time restricted eating, which has a intermittent fasting component to it, but it also has that circadian biology component to it. Right. You want to eat within the time when your metabolism is optimal. And when you're not eating, you're obviously fasting. And, and so, you know, people end up doing up to 16 hour um, fasting periods. So if they're eating within an eight hour window, they're fasting for 16 hours you get the benefits of the fasting part. So you're fasting for 16 hours. Um, part of the benefits you know, with that are things like you do start to have repair processes that are um, activated. In, in order to repair damage, whether it's damage to your DNA or you know, damage to proteins or just um, damage, like I mentioned, mitochondria or just pieces of you know, dead cells floating around, that stuff is, is cleared away and repaired during a fasting state. Um, so you get that with the intermittent fasting and time-restricted eating, which has a fasting component. In addition to time-restricted eating, you have the, the, the benefits, and this has been shown by uh, Dr. Sajjan Panda, Ruth Patterson, and others, um, that you're eating within your, your circadian biology in terms of when your metabolism is its most optimal. So you don't want to, you know, for example, if you, if you eat your first you know, bite of food at 8 a.m. in the morning, and then you're eating dinner at 8.30 or 9, you're basically, you've already gone past 12 hours, sure. your metabolism at 8.30 or 9 isn't gonna be very good. And so, and what may end up happening is you're not gonna be as insulin sensitive, so your blood glucose levels are gonna be higher, your fasting blood glucose is gonna be higher, your fatty acid metabolism's not as good, so you're gonna to start to store fatty acids in adipose tissue rather than using them as energy. So you'll start to like gain more fat mass, which is, has all sorts of problems. Um, in addition to that, you may also, uh, your body, because you have been going, it's, it's been like over a 12 hour mark, when you eat that food in the evening, you may be resetting the clock and your body thinks it's, it's resetting the start time of metabolism. So the whole time you're sleeping is when your metabolism is at its best and then you wake up in the morning and it's completely misaligned. So everything is misaligned. Your blood glucose levels, your, your, your fatty acids are gonna be more likely to be stored in adipose tissue rather than used as energy, so that misalignment. So that's uh, the benefit for time-restricted eating or time-restricted feeding, as it's called with animal studies. Um, which in Dr. Walter Longo's research, he does a lot of research on what's called prolonged fasting, um, typically 48 hours or longer. Um, again, as you get into that, you may want to do that under medical supervision. Now, he has done a lot of research in animals showing that, um, you know, if, if you do a prolonged fast, not only do you have this autophagy start to acti activate, which we talked about, um, as the fast becomes more prolonged, uh, you actually start to get the clearing away of, of cells, damaged cells, it seems to be preferentially damaged cells that are cleared away. Um, and in the process of that happening, you actually activate stem cells and sort of replenish those damaged cells with young cells. Animals were literally, during the fasting period, organs will shrink. And then during the refeeding period, which we'll talk about a little bit later, they regrow. So you're basically getting rid of the damaged cells, mostly it seems, and then you're replenishing them with healthy new young cells and they're regrowing. Now that's all been done in animal studies. Um, he has some preliminary evidence in humans where it seems as though uh, looking at various markers of like stem cell activation, for example, that does seem to be happening. Um, but he's got some ongoing studies where they're gonna look at that in much more detail. So, um, you know, that's a benefit of the prolonged fasting, which you don't really get from a shorter fast because you need to really have a stronger stress. You have to have your IGF-1 levels really dip down. That takes time. Um, Prolon is, um, is uh, th that's the name for their fasting mimicking diet, which uh, was developed by Dr. Walter Longo, and it's a very specific, has a very specific um, macronutrient content, so a specific amount of fat and protein and carbohydrates, and a total caloric cap. So. You know, I think that like the first day it's up to a thousand calories and then the second to the fifth day you're getting a little bit, a little over 700 calories a day. Shown in animal studies, the same benefits with the organ shrinking and then regrowing. Clinical studies in humans showing um, a variety of metabolic benefits. You're getting, you know, of course, improved glucose uh, levels, insulin sensitivity. Um, he shows IGF-1 does go down. Cholesterol, like there's benefits with your cholesterol, metabolism, things like that. Um, so that's also another sort of Part of fasting. In animals, he has shown that you do get a lot of the same benefits as a, as a water fast, but 
you have to remember, you know, animals have a much faster metabolism. Just a, a mouse, a rodent, for 48 hours, they lose 20% of their body weight. A human loses maybe. Um, the question then becomes, well, you know, how much of the organ shrinking, regrowing with just a fasting mimicking for five days versus, a, you know, actually not eating or, you know, so the, there's lots of little nuances that aren't quite figured out yet, but um, certainly there are benefits and he's shown that in humans. So that's a good summary and I think I should probably also mention um, another benefit that comes from the, the, both intermittent fasting and certainly prolonged fasting is your body shifts from um, glucose metabolism, metabolizing carbohydrates, to fatty acid metabolism. Um, you, just you, get the, you get the production of ketone bodies like beta hydroxybutyrate, which has in and of itself been shown by people like Dr. Eric Verdin. Uh, to be uh, anti-aging in a sense. A signaling molecule that's been shown to activate gene genetic pathways in the body that are known to delay age-related diseases that are known to help increase repair processes. It's been shown to reduce um, damage that's generated by your mitochondria, which are you know, basically what's generating most of the energy inside of your cells. But that whole process of generating energy, what you know as known as metabolism, um, generates a lot of you know very harmful reactive byproducts and beta hydroxybutyrate will lower that so it kind of makes your mitochondria more efficient but that's another benefit with the intermittent fasting and uh, certainly the prolonged fasting